Hi guys, welcome back to It's Dan K Reviews. We're having a look at another mid-range card. This is the GTX 650 Ti Boost. Now this one is a non-reference model direct CU2. As mentioned, it's got a 1085 megahertz uh, clock, which is 4% faster than reference models. And similar to the HD7790 comparison I did before, it runs pretty similar scores. So this one, it has super LA chokes. So those are noise free, it's supposed to last two and a half times longer and really perform better and stay cooler during operation. Uh, they're supposed to be more power efficient as well. So that's good to see there. As we come around the back, we've got DVI-I, DVI-D, HDMI display port, and that's pretty standard for these mid-range cards as well to give you a really good host of connection options. Uh, and it features a six pin power connector again. So very, very similar to the HD7790 and a single SLI finger. So very, very similar to the 7790. Uh, what can I say? In the terms of the benchmarking, it scored just a tiny bit lower. P score was 5472, and with mild overclocking, we got 5547. So you can run most games with this kind of card. I believe another 130 marks would certainly be obtainable for a 247 overclock, you know, had I had more time with the card. And, you know, 1080p Ultra Battlefield 3 performance, around 41 frames a second, uh, which is very, very playable. So outdoor gameplay, this was multiplayer as well. And, you know, with medium, you'll still get a solid 60 frames a second under almost any sort of gameplay condition. So it is a highly ideal card for those on a budget. Uh, the performance, price-performance combination is, is certainly hard to go by. If you've got any questions, do ask them in the comment section below. It's been Dan K. Do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.